Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here with Tundes. And we're here today on some special bikes. And we're gonna be taking a first look at the brand new Trek Imanda bikes here. So we've got the top of the line SLR models here that we're test riding here at our local Trek store here in Japan. We just made a shop tour video for the Trek store here. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. But today we're very excited to test ride these new bikes. These bikes look like a total beast here. So this is their top of the line model here, which just so happens to be Tuan-chan's size. And this bike is just ridiculous. They've also got another level here. So this is the one that I'm going to be riding. Mine is going to be Altegra Di2 and it's a nice red color here. It's the same level bike, just the components are a little bit different here. But Tung's is going to be on SRAM Red. I think this is her first time using SRAM Red E-Tap. Mm. Yeah. So these shifters alone, I believe, go for over three grand. <laughs> so let's take a quick look at some of the features of this bike. And we're going to go out for a quick test ride. So some of the things that are new on here, is you'll notice there's no cables at all in here. It's a completely integrated system here. So very clean, very fresh, especially here up in the front end. Very clean setup. And it's also gotten a little bit more aerodynamic. So you can see it's cutting in a little bit more here, a more aero profile. And that's also continued down here at the bottom of the frame. So this is more of a V shape now, whereas the old design, it was kind of flat down on the bottom, but you can see it's kind of like a V shape like this. Kind of like Flying V, if you ever saw that movie. Um, but anyway, yeah, everything's getting more aero in the bike market right now. All the top of the line bikes are going in that direction. So light and aero. This is their top of the line race frame. And this thing just looks like a beast. I especially love this paint color here. Ne kono design Yeah, Very, very, very. Very, very cool. And so they got another saddle on here. So this is a pretty minimal saddle here. I think this is her first time riding this kind of saddle. Like, no, no, no. no, no. no, no. <laughs> so it gets a little bit more breeze in there. And a nice clean back end here. And just, yeah, the clearance on this is just ridiculous. Very clean setup all around from the back to the front. And Tuan's on her flat shoes today, so we came over here on her mama cherry, so unfortunately she doesn't have her cycling shoes, but she's got her cycling socks at least. And yeah, she's gonna be <laughs> riding this bike, this level bike, on flat shoes and normal clothes, but it's all right. And we're gonna really spoil her today with today's test ride. So let's go ahead and hop on the bikes and get going. Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. So we're here at Hoshigaoka Terrace in eastern Nagoya, Japan. And the bike that I'm on is actually a little bit small, so I'm a pretty tall guy. And I normally ride a size 56, but they don't really have that size here in Japan, especially for demo bikes. So I'm on a 52 today. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to deal with a small size for me. But Tun Chan should get a nice impression of the bike. They have her size. So we should have got on the road there. I didn't realize there were no other entrances to the road. So we're just gonna go down here nice and slow. And we're gonna do a pretty varied course today. We're gonna be going to a more natured area once we get onto the main roads and can escape out of here. But you can see Life here in Japan is still pretty bustling. So let's get onto the main road. And with ETAP, or actually she's on ETAP, I'm on Altegra, so I almost forgot we're in different setups. So I got a downshift here. And let's get around the taxi. This is a really busy area. Lots of schools, lots of universities. Oh. And there's, there's a station here, so the bus terminal, and then downstairs is the subway, I believe. So we're going to be turning left here onto the main road. And this is what happens here. You got to sort of wait. And we're just going to roll this. 
Good to go. Lots of people out, geez. We live over on the outskirts of the city, so right out on the edge, and it's a lot less busy over there. So coming over here, we're seeing a lot more people than we normally do. Nice, loud wheel. Beautiful sound. Means I'm not going hard enough though. But we are gonna put this bike to the test once we get to a little bit safer of a road. So Toonskun's gonna take the lead. And this is a nice wide road here. Some of the bigger roads here in Japan are actually some of the safer roads to ride on. But there's a pretty big park area right up here, so we're gonna turn onto there and get some more narrow roads with some hills as well. So we're gonna be able to put this bike to the test on a variety of different roads. So we gotta be careful here. So it's pretty cool with the demo bikes here. When you take one out, you just gotta give your ID and then you can take one of these out on some of the local roads around here. So Japan's limited on space, so they don't really have a dedicated cycling course, but this is better. You can get out on the main roads and you can really test it out how you normally would be riding. And so far, yeah, I mean, we've just been going downhill with the bike so far, so it doesn't feel too special so far, but these disc brakes are really nice. Brake wa do? Kimochi de show? Yeah, so Tuan's brakes on her road bike right now, <laughs> pretty bad condition. And yeah, we're gonna sneak in this road. Over here is the Nagoya Zoo, by the way, or the Higashiyama Zoo. So we're going to be cycling on the park around the zoo here. Unfortunately, we got the summer bugs, the cicadas, really loud right now. And yeah, don't want to ride through those puddles right now. We don't want to get these nice bikes all dirty. And they actually have a little sort of sky train in the zoo. This is a cool little canopy area. It's cool that we can escape from the city right into this canopy section here. I don't ride this way too often. Oh. Oh. Uh, shifter. Yeah. Shifter. Oh. Oh. Sugoi de show? Smooth de show. Quite a lot of car traffic on this road, unfortunately, though. All right, so now we got the real test. This is the climb. And this is probably the lightest road bike, disc road bike that we've ever ridden so far. So we should notice this a lot more on this climb here. Toon's a sitter. She really likes sitting down. Over here, you can see the zoo. We got some swan boats over here as well, in case you're interested in seeing this stuff. It's a nice park if you got time to come over here. Lots of cool things over here in Nagoya. Kokomo Hidari.
お早く登ってるね。To ensure it's actually pretty good camouflage for this area. Pretty dangerous road for cars passing. They got the barriers in the middle of the road though. Oh,、well, this guy was close. Yeah, this is a busy road. Not many peaceful roads near the city in Japan, unfortunately. There's actually some really nice hiking and flower gardens back here. And Chuang made a, a walking video for this area. In case you're interested, you can check out her channel. She does walking tour videos here in Japan, walking and hiking. But here on Tubal Cruise, we're all about the bikes. And we're out of shape though now. We've been mostly staying indoors. Little downhill here. Back to the Hoshigaoka Terrace where we were just at. So we're descending right back to the bike shop. So a nice little loop with some good climbing. This is a women's only university, by the way. Lots of those in Japan. Women's only schools. Women's only middle school, high school, and university. Some girls will go their whole life here. <laughs> Barely having any contact with guys other than their teachers. Ah. And here we are, approaching the end of the circuit. So here we are back at the Trek store here. どうだった？軽かった。<笑>軽かったでしょ。めっちゃ軽かった。ショウショウショウなってた。そうそうそう。ライト。ライト。ライト。ライト。うん。Yeah. 登り早かったね。そう。軽いからこの自転車のおかげで。あそう。<笑> yeah. 軽かった。うん。そうだね。今体力全然ないけど早く登れた。<笑>そうそう。で、うん、なんか。軽いすぎるからなんかあんまり感じない。第2印象、うん、軽い軽い軽いわ<笑>これ第3印象もっと貯金しないとこれこれ何万人何万人でも試乗できるからいい。All right, guys, we had a fun time testing out these bikes. Let us know in the comments which one do you think is the cooler design, the red or the black. And also let us know if there's any other bikes you'd like us to try and test ride out while we're here in Japan, while we still can. And thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more cycling videos here in Japan. And we'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise. Bye bye. Bye bye. Arigatou gozaimashita.